Hi, I'm Kathy and welcome to my kitchen. It's another cookbook challenge recipe and today we're going to do easy tamale pie. It is so yummy and another great form of comfort food. Now this recipe out of the cookbook that I'm working with is kind of bland so I'm going to change it up a bit and I will have the recipe both from the cookbook and mine in the description down below. Now what I am using is the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. It's super easy to use instead of the regular cornmeal and having to cook that. I've got a little over a pound of ground beef. Um, try to get the lean. And I've got some chopped up red bell pepper and green pepper. I only use probably a half of each. And then I also have some chili pepper chopped up just a little bit to give it a little kick. I have a cup of frozen corn and then I have 14 and a half ounces of fire roasted tomatoes and you want to make sure you drain that so drain all the juices out. I've got one small white onion and three cloves of garlic that I've chopped up and that's all that goes in. So here we are at the stove cooking away, browning the meat. I put in the garlic and the onions and now we're going to add in some of the spices. I add cumin in mine. I love cumin. It adds great flavor. And then some chili powder and then we're going to add some black pepper and salt. And just stir that up and get your ground beef all browned up and cooked. Now I'm adding the bell peppers in and the chili pepper. Be careful when you're using chili pepper that you wash your hands real well after you've cut them and deseeded them so you don't burn your eyes or nose. I'm now adding the fire roasted tomatoes. I love the flavor of fire roasted tomatoes. It just adds so much more than just regular canned tomatoes. And then the frozen corn. Give it a good stir. Make sure everything is incorporated well. I'm going to bring the heat back up just a little bit because I've added cold ingredients and we want to get the cooking going. Then I'm going to turn the heat down and let it simmer. And as you can see some of the juices bubbling in there, you want all of that to steam up. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare the corn meal that's going to go on top of the meat mixture. So we're going to follow the directions on the Jiffy box for cornbread. And you just add in the corn meal and one egg and the milk. And I like my cornbread a little sweet, so I'm going to put in a tablespoon of sugar. Mix the ingredients all together. Get a casserole dish and I'm going to spray it with some spray oil just so everything doesn't stick to the sides. And then I'm going to put it in the meat mixture into the casserole dish. Make sure you spread it out all evenly. I'm using a slotted spoon also, so if there's still any more moisture in the meat mixture, I'm not picking that water up. Now I'm gonna scoop up the cornmeal and spread that on the top. Now what I ended up doing was I ended up going back and doing another batch because one box was not enough to cover the top of this dish. So make sure you use two Jiffy box mixes. Looks so beautiful. I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 400 degrees and bake it according to the box of the cornbread mix. Now that the casserole is done, I'm gonna stick in a toothpick and when the toothpick comes out dry, I know the cornbread has been cooked. Now it's time to taste test this delicious casserole. Super easy to make, 
It's so delicious. It's just, I don't know what to say. It's just so easy. And you can store this in the fridge. I know we're gonna have leftovers and it's just gonna be so yummy. You can serve this with different toppings. I'm going to be serving it with a dollop of sour cream and some chopped green onions. You could also add shredded cheddar cheese and some cilantro, whatever you'd like. I hope you like this video and you give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell so you get notification of my next video. Isn't this gorgeous? Yum! Thanks for watching guys. Bye.